Welcome to War Gear Reviews for another camera comparison shootout. I haven't done one of these for a while. I know you guys enjoy these ones. This one's going to be very interesting because we've got three flagships from three different companies and you guys can decide which one has performed the best by leaving comments below for each picture. Anyway, right now you're looking at the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra, a beast of a phone selfie camera with HDR on. So this is selfie video with HDR on. Let's switch to the Samsung. So now you're looking at the Samsung Galaxy S21 with the Exynos chipset. That's an important difference because in some countries you've got the Snapdragon here in the UK, we've got the Exynos. How's it looking with the backlight? How's the overall selfie video looking? Let me know. And let me show you the last phone. And this one might have a little bit of an unfair advantage. Check this out. Now this phone is one that I've been wanting to check out for ages. It's the Huawei Mate X. And actually right now what you're seeing is video from the rear camera but because it's a folding phone I can use the rear camera and actually look at the screen at the same time because the outer screen is now acting as a monitor so it's fantastic it does have selfie cameras as well so I'll show you those quickly before we get into the photos so this is the actual selfie camera which is on the front of the phone when it's in the folded position so you can see straight away there's a difference in quality and I think the reality is if you want to take a really high quality photo with the Mate X2 then you're going to use the unfolded and the main cameras so that is the unfair advantage that I was talking about at the beginning of the video anyway check out these selfies let me know which one's performing the best as we go through you ready let's go so before we begin make sure you stick around to the end because I have an important question for you and I just want to shout out the Mi community quickly. If you guys want the inside intel on anything Xiaomi, there is a link to the Mi community forums in the description below. Go explore it after this video. Trust me, it's awesome. Anyway, let's see what's happening here. So at first glance, you'll notice quite a big difference between the three. Let's go left to right. So the Mi 11 Ultra definitely has the widest angle here. You can tell by how much more the railings either side of me you can see. And that's a good attribute to have for a selfie shooter because you might want to take photos with your friends or with a landscape behind you or something like that. So that wider angle is actually an advantage. The skin tones are also very good here on the Mi 11 Ultra picture and the details are fantastic as well. Now, if I draw your eyes to the Huawei Mate X2 photo in the middle, you'll really notice how having your primary camera as a selfie shooter makes a massive difference you're getting this really nice bokeh effect, which is AKA blurry background. You get that because the image sensor is so big and instead of the phone artificially adding this in, it actually just happens on its own and it's fantastic. And also because it's a bigger sensor, you'll notice how much more detailed it is than the other two. And you can really see that in the imperfections in my skin. But that's not actually how my skin really looks. It's actually super smooth and unblemished, just like you see in the Galaxy S21 Ultra photo. Okay, maybe not. So I didn't alter any of the settings on any of the phones. It just seems like the Samsung Galaxy S21 Ultra defaults to beauty mode, which is nice for some people. I don't mind it. It's produced a really satisfying picture. It's bright, it's detailed, the colors are good, and my skin is like a porcelain doll. Let me know what you guys think about beauty modes. Do you like them? Do you prefer the natural gritty look? Or do you want somewhere in the middle like what the Mi 11 Ultra is doing? Let me know. Anyway, check out this second selfie. This time I used the actual selfie camera on the Mate X2, not the rear camera as a selfie camera. So it's a bit more of a fair comparison. Let me know which one you think's winning here. Okay, so all three phones have a macro shooter that allows you to get super close to the subject of your photo. In this case, it's my legendary Jamaican jerk chicken marinade unblended and maybe I'll share my secret recipe with you guys in my upcoming charbroil license to grill video. So make sure you subscribe, turn on your notifications for that. Anyway, when it comes to the picture, you'll notice the Mate X2 has a crazy amount of color saturation going on. It's got good details, although that oversaturation of colors is causing it to lose some details in the bright areas of the picture. For example, on the chili itself, in the center of the photo and you can see how much detail we're losing when you compare it to the Mi 11 Ultra photo which has great colors it's not too oversaturated maybe it's got the most natural colors of the three 
However, it did struggle a little bit to find focus and I tried my best to get it as sharp as possible and this is what I came up with and it is impressive in my opinion. But overall, the Samsung's macro shooter seems to have performed the best of the three with tack sharp focus, really nice colors. I am impressed with it. I have to say, I didn't expect Samsung to win here, but it did. Let me know if you disagree with that. Okay, this is the primary shooters on all three phones with maximum megapixels. And you'll notice the saturation on the Huawei again is very high. It's leaning towards the more warmer tones, but it actually makes the picture more dramatic and more contrasty, and I like it. The Mi 11 Ultra picture is very bright, and we're getting a really nice amount of natural bokeh again, AKA blurry background, which is awesome. The details on the dog's fur is incredible, and the colors are quite accurate. My only criticism here is the image does have a little bit of a magenta hue to it. The Galaxy S21 Ultra is doing a great job as well with the color balance leaning more towards the cooler tones, so the bluer tones. And you can really notice that when you look at the sky in the top left corner of the picture, the details and brightness are great. It's a tough one, this one. Which one wins? Let me know what you think. I know which one I like. I think you guys might disagree with it, but let me know what you think. Now let's do a little slow-mo video test. So I didn't get to fully do a side-by-side -side video test because I had such a short time with the Mate X2. So all I got to do was the slow-mo. So let me know which one won the slow-mo though. So the staple of any good camera smartphone is the ability to shoot really nice food pics. This is a picture of a traditional Hungarian dessert. I believe the English translation of it is cottage cheese dumplings with some sort of vanilla cream and a slice of orange. And trust me, it's good. Anyway, let's go left to right again. We've got a really good amount of natural blurry background again here on the Mi 11 Ultra, and actually way more blurry background than the other two. And you can really notice that when you compare the mint leaves in the pictures and the details in the foreground of the photo is really nice. You can see all the little details on the crumbs, on the dumplings, and I'm actually getting hungry now. Anyway, the Mate X2. We got a little less background blur than the Mi 11 Ultra, but way more color saturation than the other two. And it does actually give it that extra pop. It kind of delivers an Instagram ready picture without adding any filters to it. And when it comes to the details in the picture on the Mate X2, it's on par with the Mi 11 Ultra. And finally, if we look at the S21 Ultra, you can see next to no blurry background at all and the image is very bright, very detailed. The slice of orange and the cream at the back of the plate are perfectly in focus. And this is likely to do with the aperture that the S21 Ultra decided to use for this particular style of photo. So let me know, what do you prefer? The blur or not to blur? B. Which one wins? And what I'm gonna do now is just roll the next few photos for you guys to enjoy. Then I'm gonna join you again at the end of the video for the lens test. So the S21 and the Mi 11 Ultra are very comparable. Both of them are leaning towards the greener tones in this picture, whereas the Huawei has more magenta tones. All three are doing a great job when it comes to brightening up the picture without introducing too much noise. And that's what we expect from flagships. Now let's look at the ultra wide. So I don't need to tell you which one is winning here. Although I will say the way it actually looked at the time with my eyes, we're somewhere between what the Mi 11 Ultra is doing and what the S21 Ultra is doing, somewhere in the middle. 
With that said, the S21 Ultra does appear to produce the best low light photo when it comes to ultra wide lens. I think that's clear to see. Now let's look at the telly. So the Huawei is working its magic here, brightening up the night sky so much. It's really incredible how good Huawei's night mode is. And it looks pretty awesome. It's very impressive how much it can pick up at that distance as well. The Mi 11 Ultra picture is certainly the most true to life in my opinion. I think it's arguably the most detailed as well. It's doing a fantastic job of controlling the highlights here as well. And the Samsung's optical doesn't seem to zoom in quite as far as the other two, but it has produced an impressive image, very accurate colors too. Now, that important question that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, with all things considered, if you could only pick one device to take pictures on for the next 12 months, which one of these phones would you choose? Let me know in the comments below and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I'd appreciate a thumbs up and if you just subscribed, you're now one of the finest subscribers known to man. And if you wanna check out some moon zooms on these phones, thumbnails are on screen right now. I'll see you guys in the next one. Like